My name is Daniel Turek, and I'll be discussing NIMBLE, which is uh, Programming Algorithms for Statistical Models. NIMBLE stands for Numerical Inference for Hierarchical Models Using Bayesian and Likelihood Estimation, and it's a jointly collaborative project between several departments here at Cal and also UC Davis Statistics Department. The motivation for NIMBLE comes from the fact that across different application domains, there's a huge variety of statistical models that we're interested in using. A few of them are listed here, but generally it's any sort of graphical structure relating the observations or data to unknown model parameters of interest, some sort of model structure. So since there's such a variety, we desire a huge flexibility in terms of models that we're capable of using. Similarly, there's a huge variety in numerical statistical algorithms out there, which we might be interested in using. Some have different strengths, different weaknesses, good applications toward different areas, et cetera. But we might be interested in using any of them and applying them to any sort of model structure, including potentially your new algorithm, which you're currently developing or interested in sharing. So similarly, we desire high algorithm flexibility. Now, traditional R packages might reside here in the sense that they provide high algorithm flexibility for a very narrow class of models. Similarly, existing statistical software might fall here. For example, doing MCMC with, say, WinBugs or Stan, which have very flexible model specifications, but only provide a very narrow MCMC algorithm. Nimble resides here, providing both flexible model specification using the WinBugs model specification syntax, which has been widely adopted. Likewise, flexible algorithms, which are fully programmable by the user in the Nimble domain-specific language. In Nimble, all objects are compiled to C++ for fast execution, and Nimble is available as an R package. So traditional workflows might look something like this. You have your data or observations, define a model structure, which relates these observations to unknown parameters of interest. We then turn to some existing statistical software package, which is typically a black box algorithm for performing inference. Under a workflow such as this, the algorithm internals are completely hidden from us. We don't actually know what the algorithm is doing because it's written in some code which we might not have access to. Further, it's certainly not going to be modifiable or programmable by us. So given this, we're completely restricted to the existing software and reliant upon it. A different workflow might look something like this, where with our model and data, we actually take the time to hand code our statistical algorithm of interest in something, say, R or Python, for performing the analysis. Under this workflow, as we all know, writing your own algorithm is certainly labor intensive, and we've all written code certainly very prone to errors. We spend a lot of time debugging, and even once we get this workflow working, what we've just accomplished is entirely problem specific. We can't take our algorithm we just spent so much time on and apply it to a different model, different data set, and certainly can't tweak it, and if we want to change things, we restart this whole process of debugging. So neither of these workflows are entirely satisfying. The workflow under Nimble looks very different. Once again, we begin with our model definition, the structure relating the parameters of interest to our observed data. Nimble then creates an operational model object, which is capable of performing statistical operations, simulating random variables, calculating probability densities, querying the graph structure for dependencies, setting data flags, etc. We then might turn to the Nimble algorithm library, providing a huge source of uh, pre-written algorithms. Choose one, say MCMC, for example, Algorithms in Nimble are written as being model generic. That is, each one can apply to any hierarchical statistical model structure. These are then combined to form an operational executable algorithm. Now, these objects at this point are R objects executing from R, which enables debugging. We then would put these into the Nimble compiler, which would produce compiled operational model object and similarly a compiled executable algorithm. Now these objects are compiled C++ code, which still operate from the R workspace. So still working within R, we're now operating compiled objects for speed of execution. Now say at this point, the data flows in here in this workflow. So we can actually change data sets, different uh, samples, different missing values, et cetera. So they enter in a different place in the workflow. Say we'd like to write our own algorithm. We can, in the Nimble DSL, write a custom statistical algorithm written in a model generic manner. And then this enters in exactly the same manner into the workflow, creating an executable algorithm, gets compiled, et cetera, and the workflow continues. So we can reuse the same model structure for any algorithms we might like from the algorithm library or hand coded. Now in this user programmable objects are the Nimble algorithms written model generic and the model definition as well, completely flexible. The operational objects are each of these R and C++ operational models and executable algorithms. The Nimble provides, first of all, the algorithm library, providing the model generic algorithms. Of course, the Nimble compiler for compiling C++. And each of these transitions here are links for creating the operational objects. The user supplies in this workflow, of course, the model definition, defining the relationships they'd like to define. 
the custom algorithms which they've written if they choose to, and of course the data flows in here. So in conclusion, Nimble is a software package for design and implementation of statistical algorithms. Casual users can make use of our pre-written algorithms in the algorithm library, and developers can write their own algorithms in the Nimble DSL. So a few members of our core development team are here in the audience, uh, Perry and Chris. So if you guys could just raise your hands, please. If you have any questions, uh, please find one of us after the talk. We'd be happy to talk with you. And thank you very much for your attention.